So what's going on traders? Um, today uh, shorted a stock CDTX and uh, I break it down pretty good in this video for anybody that wants to learn. This is my style. Um, this is not everybody's style so I trade different from everybody but um, let's get in the video. Before we get into it, I'm going to just pull up my time and sales for you, so you can see that, pause it, whatever, you want to see the time, but uh, let's get in the charts. So why did I short CDTX? First of all, it's a gap, it, it's a gapper, so it's gapping up on the day. Um, that's one thing I love about these patterns, it's one thing I look for to shorten. So, this stock went from 240s to $3.18 as you can see up here and we have a pullback and right here the 285 level you got a doji candle this gray candle and then from 285 it goes back up to a high of 315 that's another shot that's another uh, resistance you can short this stock at if you're above the PTD rule I'm below the PT do rule right now, so I can't. I I have one trade to make a count, and that's all you get. So it comes back down from um, three fifteen to two dollars and sixty eight cents. From two dollars and sixty eight cents, it shoots back up to uh, the three ten area. So that's a lower high, lower high, lower high. So this all goes with my strategy. So why did I short where I did? So right here, we'll get into the trade, and I'll tell you why I covered and everything else. So right here, the first one-minute candle. The most volume, as you can see down here. But there's not a lot of buyers coming in here. So what did I see? I seen right here. When this first one minute candle couldn't push above this pivot point at 315, I'm looking at the second candle to see how this reacts. And when it came out, it made a higher low than the first than the previous candle at 315. The second candle is high as 308. So I got short at 297, anticipating that the stock was too weak to break out. And right here, as you can see on the volume, the volume dying. As the volume dies, the price goes with it. So that's the main things I'm looking for on the stock. So I got short right here at $2.97. My target is $2.68. I can tell that this stock can have support at $2.68. So with one trade, usually I like to hold these to close, but hold them to close doesn't always work, and I have to adapt. So with one trade, I figured at 268, this stock can bounce from 268 back up to this 285 level, and if it breaks 285, it goes back up to 310 from 310 to high of day. So if I don't cover in this 260s to 270s area, I risk seeing how the stock reacts at the 285 level. So, I covered my position at $2.77. I was in the trade for eight minutes. I'm not saying there's a time factor, but being under the PTD rule, I have to adapt to the market, and these stocks don't always close weak. So, that's the reason I got out where I did is because I seen this 268 and that was that was support and that supports tell me you can go back up to 310 so I covered my position let alone if it failed uh, to hold that as support now this is where you can reshort the stock if you're above um, the BTD rule so when it comes up and retests this 268, it fails to break out, pulls back, retest again, fails to break out, pulls back, retest again. All at that 268 level. 
This is where you can add to your position if you're short. And then you can cover in the 240s. And where do I get the 240s from? I get that from right here in the pre market. This is your major support. So you could cover down here. And then a retest from the 240s back to the 268s. Still a resistance. Pulls back. Now we're making higher support. Retest again from the 250s to the 268s. Fails to break out. Pulls back again. Retests again from the 250s. And that 268 is a strong level. So right here, when this finally breaks this 268 level, it comes up and tests this 280 level. This right here is another place you can short the stock. But you want to short at the resistance levels. You don't just want to short the stock to short it. You have to, you, you have, to have a point of interest to short the stock. So right here, you could short the stock again. And your stop is, if this breaks 285 and holds 285 as support, that's very bullish. But it doesn't. You have to see how it reacts. So you could have took a starter position right here. And when it came down and retested, that gives you a lot more confidence because it only got a high of like 280. And then a retest, or comes back down, finds support. And then when to retest again for almost a triple top to the 280s, that right there is a strong resistance. So you could have got short right here, and your risk is literally one or two cents. And then when it fails to break out right here for the third time, it gets crushed, goes back to the two, goes back to the 240s, and then the stock's done for the day. So uh, I hope this picture shows you exactly what I see when I trade stocks. You know, you don't get to see all this in the morning, so, you know, I get my levels in the morning where I want to short this. You know, you got to short at the best price. The best price is 318. The second best price is 315. The third best price is 310. So you want to be shortened at resistance levels, and that's how you get your resistance levels. And then you get your support where I got this 268 from is because from 315 to 268, that's where I found support. And it went from 268 back to 310. That's where I found that 268 level. That tells me that this 268 level is a big level. So if I'm shorting this, this would be the first place somewhere in here where you want to take some, take some off the top. So if it does come up and retest, you're locking in gains. Or you can let it retest, and you're going to take that risk to see if it goes down to this 240 level. Um, so that's my breakdown on CDTX. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and then down below I'll leave a link in the description to our uh, chat room pro stock chat come check us out we have a lot of good traders in there um, you'll learn a lot from us and till next time peace out